I know a white whale, but he is not a pure white whale. I know more than one white painting by a person described as a white male who is not white and neither are the different whites. He applies differently to different supports. I know a fair-skinned woman who is told she is too white and why doesn't she go out in the sun or go to a tanning salon? According to the Fitzpatrick scale, this skin color usually burns. Hmm. We are either too white or not white enough. Make up your minds. I know a brother and sister who, when they were grade schoolers, erased away the skin color of all the black athletes on their baseball cards. Why did they feel the black faces on their baseball cards needed to be white? Did the siblings want to look like these athletes and felt it was easier to change the skin color on the cards versus the skin color on their own faces? I am making this wrong a right by putting it out there like bloody bedsheets. I own it. We own it. In additive color mixing, we form white by mixing red, yellow, and blue together. I blend all the skin tones together in my mind. And in my mind, I form one white. A white nothing like Ralph Ellison's optic white. Because there is no pure white. We can chip away at this man-made monster named white supremacy. Weaken it until it eventually dies. There is no white skin out there by itself or in its blended form. Mr. Titanium, Mr. Zinc, the two of you have been trying to convince me you are white since 19... 19- 82. And I almost believed you. Like I almost believed all the faces on my baseball cards needed to be pure white. But nothing is pure. And nothing is white. And nothing is Supreme Equality.